Hello everybody, my name is Ammon and this is the Intermountain Gold Refiners channel. Um, today we're doing a video on how to buy scrap gold for profit and I'm going to outline for you my steps and tests that I do uh, to test gold when I buy it. And so the purpose of this is when you buy scrap gold, there's some, the risk is that you buy something that's not gold for gold prices and you lose your money. That's the biggest risk that you're going to face and it takes probably about a year's worth of experience practicing and making some mistakes to get good at it. So um, basically my father taught me how to buy gold and then I went and I've done it for seven years now and gained a lot of experience and so I'm gonna make more videos about each of the tests that I do so that you can practice those tests and you can be able to buy gold too. So. My first step is to categorize everything into their proper categories. So let's say a lot comes in, gold and silver. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate out the silver. I'm going to look for everything that's marked 925 or sterling. Those things go into a pile. Then there's another pile maybe of unmarked silver, and I'm just going to set that aside. Mostly it's nickel or nickel-plated uh, steel or things like that. It usually doesn't have very much value, so I'm going to set that aside. Then we do, in the gold, we do unmarked gold. This is a very important category we'll come back to later. We do 10 karat gold, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, and, uh, and anything else. Sometimes we'll get some 21 or 22 karat uh, things in. And so um, once you got it all separated out, what I like to do is I'll take a strong magnet, like a hard drive magnet or some other really strong magnet, and I'll, I'll uh, test each of the pieces of jewelry to make sure they don't pull. Later I'll do a video on how to do that more specifically, but if you can pull one, basically you should rule it out because it's probably just gold plated. So set aside those things. Then the next step is to look over the objects, uh, sometimes with a magnifying loop, a jeweler's loop is what it's called. You can buy one on eBay or Amazon somewhere. And um, you want to look for color and texture details that indicate whether it's real or not. Again, I'll do a short video on that. And then the next step is sometimes you'll have an unmarked object and the seller um, thinks that it's 18 karat gold or something maybe it's a glob of white metal and it's like 18 karat gold he thinks or you know whatever and uh and you need a way to test it so what i do is i'll use a cup of water my gram scale and some dental floss and i'll do a density test um i've got a video on that and i'll link that down below okay so once you've density tested usually you can tell whether you should buy it or not uh usually if the specific gravity in grams per centimeter cubed turns out to be um, higher than 10 or 11 then it probably is gold and if it's lower it's probably not so there are some exceptions to that but that's the basic rule of thumb um, the next thing that I do is I calculate the offer and so I'll take all those piles and, it, and based on their marks it tells me how much gold there is I'll sit and do the math and there's a video how to calculate that I'll link it and um, essentially at this point if there's if there's diamonds or gemstones usually it's got to be a half carat or bigger to be start adding on some money for the diamond but diamonds are really hard to sell in the wholesale market they can be sold it's just they're very discounted so you know you might only buy them for 10 percent of retail value or whatever and so you know and depending on your suppliers and your market connections you might decide that you need to do you know one thing or another to to adjust the price how you buy diamonds but generally anything smaller than half carat is just counted as gold weight you pay a little gold weight for it which is paying something for it but it's you know it's protecting yourself because uh, it can be very hard to like separate it out and all that stuff all right so the next the next thing is to uh, make an offer so if they accept the offer you know, usually the value is this much and, and you're going to give them a portion of that. You know, they're, you probably give them the bigger portion and then you'll keep maybe a smaller portion. Or if you're a picker, maybe you're getting most of it and, you know, whatever your situation might be. 
make an offer and if it's accepted then you can then buy it and so um, once I know that I can buy it I do an acid test the reason I do the acid test after I make the offer is because it can brown some of the 10 karat and 14 karat gold and um, and some people would consider that damage you can just polish it out but uh, it's better to warn people that and if they have something that's not gold the acid test sometimes will eat it away and so you need to warn them that those things that are not gold could be damaged so um, so usually if they're willing to sell it it's okay to damage whatever is there uh, if they're really sentimentally attached to it just let them keep it <laughs> it's just better um, so basically uh, gold doesn't react to 10 10 molar nitric acid so I'll put I'll just pour some on in a little dish and use a glass dish and I'll test it and if something's reacting I'll separate it out and if something you know if, if the rest of the goals are sitting there not reacting at all no bubbles are forming then uh, I go on to the next step so once we've done the acid test we're rinsed off the acid from the materials um, the you know if you had to take anything out you just have to tell them that you have to subtract it off of the the original offer because it turned out to not be gold and most people understand that pretty well because they know that if it's not gold then you know you're not gonna pay gold price for it so um, finally uh, you just got to do the paperwork for your local state and uh, or country you know depending where wherever you are in the world do the paperwork a lot of people like you to pay in cash um, so that's basically the steps I'm going to uh, put together some links and videos for you guys to uh, polish each of those skills also there's other youtubers out there that have made some great videos uh, please like and subscribe um, I'm gonna come out with more videos in the future and have a great day thanks bye